Hey guys, it's Sam and today we're taking a look at the Wingu, the mini electric bike that packs a punch. This bike is perfect for commuters and bike riders alike. So let's take this bike out for a spin and let's see what the Wingu can do. You can easily fold up this mini electric bike, making it nice and compact so it can fit into tight spaces. Here's me folding the electric bike, folding it nice and compact and making it very easy to store or to lift up and put in your car. Now let's talk about the motor. The B50 is equipped with a 250 watt motor, which gives it around 22 kilowatts of range in full electric and in eco mode, about 40 kilometers in range add in the pedal power to this bike. This mini e-bike can reach up to 25 kilometers an hour, which makes this a fast mini e-bike, which is great for commuting out and around town. But it's not just the motor that's impressive. The B20 is designed for a comfortable ride. The bike comes with a comfortable seat with springs that smooths out bumps and potholes, ensuring a smooth ride every time. Additionally, the B20 is equipped with 14 inch tires and a double disc brake on the front and rear making it even better for a comfortable and safe ride. Going further down the bike, I love this black and red styling of this e-bike. Even the Wingu branding on the side of the bike is stylish. You might look at this bike and think it's a small, funny looking bike, but it's still modern, clean and professional looking. You can see people commuting on this, going back and forth from work, riding in style. On the back of the bike, you have LED brake lights. Again, the style of this looks pretty cool to me. Taking a look at the pedals on this bike, they're actually really good build quality. They can fold in as well when you collapse the bike down to transport it. It has a smooth chain for pedaling and riding this bike is an absolute joy. I've really enjoyed taking this bike out and about. The Wingu website recommends this mini e-bike for riders between five foot one and six foot one. So bear this in mind when you're thinking of purchasing the B20. One of the best things about the Wingu B20 is its waterproof rating. The bike has a IPX4 waterproof rating, which means it's resistant to water splashes from any directions. This makes it perfect for commuters who have to ride in all weather conditions. Moving on to the battery, the B20 is powered by a non-removable battery that takes around four and a half hours to fully charge. The bike is also equipped with a bell, an on-off switch, a bright LED light on the front, which ensures you can ride safely at all times. The front LED light is nice and bright compared to some electric bikes I've reviewed in the past. It's worth noting the B20 is fully legal to ride in the UK as it comes with pedals. However, if the batteries die, I would not recommend pedaling this bike without the assisted electric motor. I would recommend getting off the bike and actually pushing it to your destination. Unfortunately, this bike don't come with a smart app where you can see your distance and control features of the bike. I would like to see an app included with this bike. It would have been a bit of a game changer, but it's not the end of the world. Taking a look back at the Jetson Bolt, which we reviewed, they had a smart app which actually allowed you to overclock the bike so you can actually go a bit faster using the electric motor and track your journey, which was pretty cool but unfortunately the Wingu B50 does not have this feature. Other things to note, this bike is a bit of a heavy boy. It weighs in at 17 and a half kg. So when you're lifting it in and out of a car, it does weigh a lot. And even though the bike's compact, it's quite a weird shape. So if you're trying to get into a hatchback or a saloon car, you might have a bit of trouble trying to fit in. Personally, I have to lay down my seats, pick up the bike and then try and wiggle it in while carrying the weight of the bike, which is 17.5 kg. It's just a bit of an odd shape to get into a car. Maybe you should buy a ramp just to help you assist getting the electric bike in the car. Overall, what are my final thoughts on this bike? I really enjoyed taking out the Wingu B50 out for a spin, and I've used it for a couple of commutes and I can't fault the bike at all. The ride quality is smooth, the acceleration of the bike is instant, the folding functionality is great for storage or to fit in your car. You can't really lose with this bike. If you were looking for a mini electric bike with a bit more range, I would check out the B20 Pro. It's capable of 35 kilometers on full power and 55 kilometers on economy power mode. The Pro comes in at $649. So for an extra $150, 
you get around 11 kilometers of range. It's worth spending a little bit extra to get that extra power and range. The Pro also comes with the Wingu Smart app, which looks like a great app, as well as the 16 inch tires. The link for both the B20 and the B20 Pro are below with an exclusive discount code. So go check out the description, click on the link, and you'll be able to get a nice discount on these bikes. What are your thoughts on the Wingu B50? Let me know in the comments down below. I absolutely love this bike. I'd love to hear what you guys think. This has been Sam from Tech Fusions. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you enjoyed this video, you will love this video here. It's a mini e-bike versus electric scooter. Who will win? Watch the video.